In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create arcs and circles in GraphPad. We're going to start this presentation by opening up a new construction form. And this is a construction form from the City of New York Department of Transportation. And I'm going to create a couple of lines just so we have something to reference in positioning our circle. Now, we create a circle by going into arcs mode and then touching the screen. The radius we'll see presented in the control directly below it and if we select a circle, we can modify its size by selecting inside the radius and modifying it. The next circle we create will have the exact same radius as we can see. Now, to position a circle exactly where you want it, what you do is go into points mode and you create a selection area that has the circle in the center of the circle with it and then move it to the position, the point you wish to measure from. Now we can go into Translate, and we can specify exactly how far we want to translate it. In this case, I'm going to put in 10 feet. And when I hit the down arrow, it moves it exactly 10 feet from the original point. And we can see that by just selecting, creating a dimension between the two points. Likewise, if we wish to move it to another location, we can actually use the selection area it's the only point that's selected in this case, so now when we translate it, we can translate it to wherever we want. And we can move it in multiple fashions and mo multiple steps. In addition to creating um, circles for drill holes, etc., we can also create a beveled edge. So say, for example, we want to have an um, uh, arc between these two connected lines. We go into arcs mode and then just touch the vertices. And again, by selecting the center of the arc, we can modify its radius. If we update our geometry, we'll notice that the radius adapts accordingly. It maintains that relationship and just goes ahead and adjusts as necessary so that it is a arc which is tangential to both of the two connected lines. It is important that the two lines be connected, otherwise the arc will not be created. So for example, if we had two lines which only appear to be created, connected, in this case right here, and we go to arcs mode and we try and create an arc here, we'll notice that it won't create it. It'll create a circle instead. And that's because those two points are not created, those two lines are not connected.